a laboratory at Buntings in Redditch uh, for another in our series of talks about the, the laboratory test equipment that we use on a regular basis. Uh, today we're going to talk about a very simple bit of equipment, but one that I use all the time in the laboratory to separate out ferromagnetic minerals or iron scale from a slurry samples. And it's called uh, a, a chute magnet separator, which is what we've got in front of us here. People tend to use wet processing methods when they have very fine particle size range of material or whether their pr process is uh, a wet process in the first place, i.e. they have wet ball mills, uh, just vertically stirred media mills or froth flotation, so it follows on that you don't want to, once you're processing wet, you don't want to dry to the last moment and things. So the machine is very, very simple but very useful. It basically mimics a wet drum magnetic separator that's been used in the coal processing industry for magnetite recovery or the ferrous, uh, for the scrap industry for ferrosilicon recovery for many, many years. It is a chute uh, which lifts up and underneath we have a bearing ferrite plate magnet which you hopefully you can see here which runs along the, the length of it uh, and that gives us probably between 400 and 600 gauss on the surface of the chute. So it's for separating ferromagnetic material things like magnetite, ferrosilicon, or iron scale. We wouldn't use it for, for paramagnetic minerals. It doesn't have enough force on it. So I simply here, I have a sample, which is a mixture of uh, kaolin and magnetite. Uh, kaolin is a white material, but it's non-magnetic. The mag magnetite is Fe304, which is a ferromagnetic uh, mineral and should be pulled out on the surface of the magnet. And it's as simple as this. We simply take our suspension, we pour it over, quite luckily over the surface of the material, of the, of the chute, reach it through and wash it down. And hopefully you'll see that the, the magnetite particles are captured on the magnet surface there and on non-magnetics uh, have thrown through uh, quite easily. And we can just wash that to remove any entrained material. And you can see rows of magnetic particles here. These are, this is my magnetite. It could just as easily be a, a worn media from a ball mill or, or a ferrosilicon from a scrap processing plant. Here, like that. We then, to recover our magnetic material and analyze it by XRF, we simply lift up the chute like this, wash it down like that, and we have a simple magnetic separation that can be done very quickly and will mimic a industrial scale unit. So these are used a lot in universities in conjunction with a high intensity wet separator. They also use quite a lot in water treatment uh, sites to check whether there is any uh, metal contamination in, in, the, in the water. And a number of those have been sold recently for those sorts of applications. Very useful, use it all the time. The thing that it's often used in conjunction with the high intensity wet separator Simply because if you put magnetite through the high intensity separator, it will tend to block the matrix, not be released. So we tend to process through this machine first and then go to the, the high intensity afterwards. We don't want to waste our magnetic field strength on something as simple as a, as a ferromagnetic particle.